Welcome to the Weekly Dose of Amuna for Shabbat Kodesh. Today we're going to talk about the idea of the special blessing that Shabbat brings to us. It's a blessing that we don't get during the week. In fact, is one of the, the ways that we accept Shabbat in should be in true joy. We should be in a joyful state when Shabbat comes in. We should fear, feel ourselves elated and happy. And so the question is being asked, why is it on Motzei Shabbat we're still supposed to be in a state of joy? Aren't we sad that she's the Shabbat queen is, is being escorted out and we're mourning her departure, so to speak? But the idea is, is that when we recognize that Shabbat left, even though it's leaving our home, what it leaves in its place is it leaves an abundant amount of blessings. We feel enriched. We feel like we've gained so much from the Shabbos Kodesh. We realize that there's so many gifts that Shabbat has given us that we would have never ever got been able to achieve and, and, and retain and attain the whole entire week. What are these gifts? What is the gift of Shabbos? So Chazal teach us that Shabbos gives us one particular gift that is in essence the entire goal of living. And on Shabbos we get a day to be with Hashem. The goal of living is to achieve closeness to Hashem. And it's written, of course, as we know, on Shabbat, Venizgav Hashem Levado Beyom Hahu. It's written in Sefer Yeshayahu that we read alone with Hashem on Shabbat Kodesh. We are alone with Him. It's a one-on-one -on -one encounter with a Kodesh Baruch Hu. It means that we don't have to go looking for Hashem. In fact, this is one of the reasons why on Shabbat Kodesh we don't ask for certain personal tefillahs to be fulfilled. We're, we don't uh, need that reason to um, uh, encourage us to daven and reach out to Hashem. Usually during the week, it's only when we're in trouble and we need help from Hashem that we tearfully beg, Hashem, please, please help me, I need your help. But on Shabbat Kodesh, we are aware, we increase our awareness, we're, we don't need any reason to get us to attach ourselves and to be, become aware and live in that reality that Hashem is with us. And so the key is, is even during the week, as in Shabbat, it's to, to constantly be in that state of uncovering the darkness, remove, removing the veil, and building our relationship with Hashem. That's the goal of life. During the week, we have to work very hard to attain that level, that type of relationship with Hashem, to build that up that mode of communication. And yet on Shabbat Kodesh, again, it doesn't matter even if a person doesn't feel it, even if he doesn't feel the intimate closeness, he in fact is in, so to speak, a Besamigdash. And um, what, what was the Besamigdash? The Besamigdash was a place where when a person would enter in this building, he would feel without a doubt that there's a living God. It wouldn't just become some sort of an outside concept. The awareness was so strong that he would feel Hashem's involvement. He would feel Hashem's love and his care about everything that happens to him in his life. That is what Shabbat gives to us. Even if we're not aware of it, that is what happens to us. And, and so even though we may feel, feel so enveloped in darkness and we don't feel that on Shabbat, let's remember that it's Kedai Ma'od. It's very, very much worthwhile to invest as much effort as we can in peeling away whatever layers are stopping us from being able to have that intimate, personal feeling that Hashem, yes, you are definitely here. Yes, Hashem, you are definitely doing everything for my best. Yes, Hashem, you are not abandoning the Jewish people. You are 100% not, have not forsaken us. You are with us, and, and I want to find you, Hashem. I want to find you. But Ezrat Hashem on Shabbos Kodesh is the time to want to feel motivated to have that sense linger on the entire week. And then, Be'ezrat Hashem, when you truly seek out Hashem, you will surely, surely find Him. Not only during the week, but also on Shabbat Kodesh, when that in itself is given to us as a gift. We don't even have to do anything. We're automatically 
embraced by the warmth and the presence of Hashem if we could just peel away those layers of Bezrat Hashem let's work hard let's really do whatever we need to do during the week to invest every moment that we can to count down the days to be able to achieve that sense of closeness with Hashem and then feel that even as Shabbat leaves us we can feel the sense of closeness to Hashem that was left behind and we can take that and give us that will give us the koach for the rest of the uh, week to come. Have a great Shabbat.